So we were reminiscing on our China memories and one we always think about is how we got arrested. So we just wanted to talk about that one yeah. in this video. It sounds bad, but it's not as bad <laughs> as it sounds. So what happened is that we moved apartments and every time you move to a new place, you are supposed to check in with the police station yeah. in the new area that you're located in. And when we first moved to China, the police station that was located in our area, they were very lax. <laughs> they were, were chill. Were they regional or did, I, don't I don't know. know. I guess it would like be a like zip a zip code uh, or something yeah. here. And um, so they were just like whatever. Like they didn't really check stuff. It was whatever. They would sleep a lot in there. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I caught them sleeping <laughs> one time. Anyway, so what Life we were supposed to do, in addition to checking in, um, oh yeah, it might have been their nap time. Um, in addition to checking in after you move to a new place, just to say you're a foreigner and you're here, um, every time you leave the country and come back in, you're supposed to also check to the police station. But we didn't do that. Because we didn't um, know. We didn't know. <laughs> so uh, Nobody told us our we, first... We moved to China in uh, August 2016, yeah. and then in 2017, in February, we went to Japan. Yeah. And then we moved to a new place in like May 2017, something like that, May or June. Yeah, it was around near the end of the mm -hmm. year before we left for the summer. <laughs> and so we did what we usually are supposed to do, which is check into the police station. We have a new place, we have to go check in. We were supposed to be able to do it, I think, they had a desk where you just do this, like, you know, like at the DMV or something. It's like, like a DMV, but in. it's at the police station. And they're supposed to just, I don't know, sign something, whatever. But we, they wouldn't let us do it, right? They were like, we needed to come back I don't or remember something. It was exactly something. what it was. Or we it might have not had everything we were supposed to have. So then we came back again. Yeah, came back. And it was later on, like in the day. I don't know if it was the same day or a different day, but we went later on in the day. Like four or five. We the, the first station. time we went and did the whole thing with the police. Uh, R was with us. R the I said Hamlet earlier, but really? Yeah, oh, she yeah, was yeah, with yeah. us. She helped us. But this time we, since we moved out on our our own, we've already we been here for a year. We're doing everything yeah. on our own. So this is us by <laughs> ourselves going in there. Yes. So when we went in, um, like I said, it was later on, so a lot of people were gone. It wasn't in the later day. on. I guess. I think I needed you, know, you there too. It might have been a Friday or something. I think I think I went by myself, and then they told me you had to be there as well. Because my name was on it or something. Yeah. So um, when we gave our paperwork, there was just a hassle going on, but because of the translation <laughs> barrier. We didn't really know exactly what was wrong. We figured it was something we just didn't understand or whatever that we were supposed to have brought or something. And it kept going on. Like, what were we getting passed from like one person to another? I they can't were trying to figure it out. Eventually, um, we realized that um, what happened is that we didn't check in when we went out of the country and came back in. And it's actually like an offense. <laughs> It was a crime, um, and so we called our, my boss, um, S, right, and asked, we wanted to make sure, like, what we're supposed to do, like, are we in trouble, like, how much yeah. is this fine, you know, like, we have to pay a fine, and so then she talked to them, but she was, like, really upset. <laughs> she was blaring. <laughs> she was going in on this. He wasn't like a low level cop because he had on like, he didn't have on a uniform. He had on like, he a, like, regular, a, like a, a professional uh, or something. No, he looked like a private eye. Yeah, like a, like a, a detective, detective or something. Or something. He, and then, and yeah. We were in the, yeah, the, the so to paint <laughs> the picture. At this point, we were sitting We're down sitting, at okay, we're sitting him. where they have the normal day to day activities, mm -hmm. the top level station. And it's just a table, like a waiting room kind of area. But the, the the entrance is gated and closed. Mm -hmm. Like they have like the mall type things where you sh 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 
goes down, crashes in, and you're you're all locked in, like you're this in this is a closed huge area. Police station. It's a pretty huge mm -hmm. one, and we're talking to them, and we're sitting at this little round table, and they're just going in, and they're having trouble communicating with us mm -hmm. because they don't speak enough English, and we don't speak enough. Chinese and There's they're trying to There's a lot of confusion, a lot of awkward laughs. <laughs> like why are we still here? Can we leave? What What's is going happening? on? Why what why is yeah. it why are we closed behind the 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 door here? Why have you closed us in and why are we leave? still here? What's going on? So we call like you said S we call her and she's and trying to clarify yeah. it and she's just going and the dude He's he, like he literally pulled it away like this and we just hear her going on just blaring in and he's like I'm he hands the phone to someone else. Yeah, we were kind of scared. Um, like at first, they kind of started off pretty, you know, you whatever. Be okay. The normal confusion because we don't know the language, you know, whatever. Um, and then it was like, oh, like what's well, happening? Well, then they started like, bringing us downstairs. Trouble? Yeah, then and they're like, okay, we're gonna go downstairs. Like a little cellar with like a jail and, cell and everything. Yeah, that's when it looks like you're actually in jail. And, and I've never been through... in jail. I've only seen it in movies or on TV. So. We were going through the process of it, and they were going through like, okay, we need to get your fingerprints, we need to get your size and weight, and they're measuring it, mm -hmm. and then. I'm we thinking kinda... locked up abroad. Yeah. Now I don't know. If Chris probably doesn't watch. He probably just watch heard of it. Like that, but, but he knows I watch like stuff like that. And you watch in those that episodes, you never hear like they have these horror stories. You know, they get locked away for like years for like something. And I was just thinking, oh my god, like I was really scared. Yeah, we we're and we they were, were nice. It's not like they yeah, were they were rude. very they nice. They weren't mean or anything. But we don't know the language. We're stuck here. And, um, what are we going to do? Like, and we just had to do what they tell us to. Well, we did we didn't to do a everything. point. So there's a point <laughs> where I, I don't like needles. And they uh -huh. had a box of needles to, like, stab into you and get your blood. They want to they, stamp, to, your, to stamp your, fingerprint? your fingerprint with blood. And we were like, no. And At that, well, they like, like, took no, our no, height, no, like no, you said, they took our happening. weight. They did all of our, like you know measurements but then when it came to like taking my blood i was like we were like no we're no, 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 no. so and think well, about this i don't know Chris what, afraid of needles, but i was just like well, what is that what are you doing think how that? i need to know does, does that come off in title it does, definitely well, does come off in title i've never heard of it in america and i just never heard of it before i wanted to know why and we couldn't really ask because there was a translation difference and we did see that a lot of people had done it. There were like a lot yeah, of yeah. It wasn't just them. like it was was it, it slips of paper. There were little slips of paper, it? like in like a, a like a uh, door prize drawing bucket. Yeah, or something. but it was just we were just scared and we just didn't do it. So they tried to take our blood, and um, then the guy. I just want to point out the guy there. I feel bad because. To, trying to think of it in his perspective he seemed like he was new and he didn't know how to handle the situation where yeah. the the prisoner is bucking on them and it, they don't even speak the language he's like oh and okay, everyone was uh, gone so remember uh, this is later so like my, a lot of people are gone from the station he, i think he so calls his officer or sergeant English, or something gone. he calls him up and says what do, what do we do what what do i i, I could tell he looked uh, Flummox looked looked a little confused, looked a little like awkward, like this is not what I'm used to. Can't you just, you know, go, this is just protocol. Just do it, just, just do, do it, it. just we do protocol, being... please. This is my first time. We did time. everything but that though. That was the only thing we didn't do. And well, then we went to Think about how entitled that is. <laughs> We're, pris thing. we're prisoners. We committed a crime, we and we're like, "Well, we're just not gonna do it. We're we just were we're not." An a we were, I think, average. We weren't like we, over the top. We were. I mean, but that is entitled. That <laughs> is entitled. What prisoner gets to choose in America? Where are we prisoners? What to do? We still we weren't really prisoners, know. but we committed a crime, and we they felt were like intent we were on gonna get arrested, uh, locking us up. But what happened next? I can't remember. Did they actually? So lock then us we up? went into this room with an officer and he typed out a confession in mandarin and then we oh, were yeah. supposed to sign it <laughs> but we were like what is this yeah we have to sign this we had a sign we didn't mandarin. know what we it didn't said know what we were confessing to we did did you use like google translate no they took our phones we didn't have anything so i think we ended up signing it because 
somebody explained that someone explained what it was and so we did end up signing it because we were like scared it was like and, but apology. it was a whole thing we were like we don't know if we want to sign this what is it um but it was a mandarin so yeah. We signed it, but we were, I was kind of afraid, like, is this going to be on our record? Like, is it going to stop us from getting another visa? You know, whatever. But it yeah. was just like a small infraction. And then we finally got to leave, but this we had to come back the next day because we did have later. to pay a fine, I believe. We had to bring there the There was cash. a fine, and, and so we had what had happened from the was, school, right? Yeah, my principal at the school, um principal like over our department he found out what happened and he was actually he's actually friends with I guess one of the higher ups in that police department um because like I said in one of the other video videos teachers are really respected and so um he's like a really respected teacher and he knew someone in the police station so he actually set up a meeting and it was like do you know someone in the police station yeah, he did. Oh, that's why like he said what he said. It was like 20 times better. <laughs> it was like 20 times better the yeah. next day. Oh, yeah, the detective Everybody guy. was there. Like, all the important people, you could tell they were, like, high up. I remember Were in now. the room with us. Do you remember, it was okay. way different. Do you remember the detective, his, like, demeanor? He, he looked like the detective guy. I call him the detective guy. The next he, day? He really, well, the, the before and after. <laughs> this guy really, I remember now, he looked apart. He looked like this rough, like, so... You're gonna bring the crime. <laughs> oh, yeah. Law and order. Law and order, yeah. <laughs> he's looking like this tough guy. And the he's like smoking. Day, the next day, they were in their like, uniforms. Oh, do, you, were... do you want in? Oh, let me open the door for you. Come, come right down through. Please, after. Because I think S had called the consulate and complained. She, and we had also called. She did. And did so. We? No, we didn't I call. We she called. did. Okay. We didn't and have our so, phones. They took it away. I think they didn't want to look bad. Um, they and so uh, now that makes sense. Really when you said your boss said, <laughs> when your boss or your principal rather, when your principal I think said he that was he knew prince. somebody, he was over it. He's over the it. international department, but he he said he knows somebody on the inside, uh, or and within the Mr. police. Mister T. Mister T. Yeah, <laughs> Mister T. So uh, yeah. Yeah. So everybody was dressed up, you know, in their uniforms. You could tell it was higher up. The room was full. And we were kind of worn out looking because we were tired <laughs> and scared. So yeah. we didn't look that good. We had the cash with us, but it was like a very like relaxed, like, oh, okay. Just yeah. don't call oh, do the U.S. consulate oh, again. Oh, it's fine. We're fine. Everything's great. You're, you know, every, we're great here. And um, I guess we never had that experience because um, we don't usually know people. <laughs> I just want to say that Mr. T, he, because he knew somebody, it was kind of embarrassing for him and his his friend to call the U.S. consulate on him. That was probably why he said that. I now made that connection because I didn't know he knew somebody on the inside. Mm -hmm. I thought he just, I didn't know they were friends. I thought they were just, he just knew people in the government. He's like respected in the community. Like that... Because um, Mr. T lived in that community. Oh, yeah. He, lives, like, in a, he lived in our same complex. That's right. He did live so in that. So he knew, knew them, that. And he's he would like go a respected the same, teacher. The same uh, He obviously knew. Thing. Yeah. So that was why. So yeah. <laughs> it was a lot better the next day. And we felt a lot better about it. And they expunged the record. Oh, they did. I can't remember. So. Oh, yeah. Right, let's go. <laughs> so it, it was never. And we'll permission. never forget that. So if we ever do go back to China, or I mean, if we back, ever go anywhere, we're gonna ask a lot more questions just about like, like little we things, like super entering and leaving the country. Like we, if we ever, um, when we go abroad again, we we want to have another baby. So we need to think about if we need a visa for that child to leave again, you know, and stuff like that. So we definitely. Uh, we'll ask more questions next time. It, uh, <laughs> I, I, but we I guess made it going out. back in again, it does definitely feel like we were very entitled. Uh, it, They're probably like, oh. Dumb Americans dumb just American, do whatever they just want. Just doing whatever they want. Yeah. That's kind of embarrassing. Is it? Yeah. I thought I, I was scared. I was so scared that um, I don't feel embarrassed. I didn't feel that way at all. But I, looking back, it, it definitely. Makes me feel 
a shame. I thought that, that we were we pretty chill for what was happening, which is being arrested in in a country where we don't know the language, and you know we just have to do kind of what they tell us, and we don't know what. I think the arrested is a, are. a very strong word. At, At no the time, point we did didn't they lock us up with manacles. At no we point did we go have downstairs, and they closed the gate. We and never were in a jail like we cell. Were, it we're looked like we too. were about to go to it, but it doesn't. It never arrested seems arrested too strong. I would say withheld until things were understood. They took our prints and they held us for a little bit, not in jail cells. We didn't get beaten or anything. No, so we didn't know that happened. <laughs> it's it's actually it a very ended up being smooth situation. Fine. Um, it was way more dramatic. Just in make sure it than you know now. all the rules before you go in there. Don't rely on others to tell you the rules. Make sure you research yourself. That's the lesson learned here. We yeah. relied on our handlers to deliver us and just coddle us the rest of the way. And the first year they did that, and they skipped over some things that we didn't know about. And then we went off on our own, and we didn't know. There's um, always going to be surprises just because there will there's be. things that we wouldn't think about because that's not something that we have to deal with in America or have Try your best before. to know and then the also, laws of the land before you, you go there at yeah. the very least. Try your best to learn it yourself and don't rely on others to tell you what it is, but do the research yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's also good to ask your other co-workers like other foreigners yeah. too um but sometimes they won't know um nah, like with the baby didn't. stuff Nobody they would have not stuff. have known it's because none of them had babies know. yeah so that's a different video but we had to have a visa for our baby to leave but we didn't know that um so just little things little things that become very big things when you're trying to leave the country or you know get checked in at your local police station yeah <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. Is there and, more? Well, I was going to clarify one more thing. Uh, it, I, I compared it to leaving the country and how immigration services will like stamp you as you go through the airport. Mm -hmm. We still went through that process. The only thing is we needed to verify with the police as well before we... Because we went through the airport and they took our visas and they did the whole thing. But we just had to go by the police station the and police show station it to too. them. We that to was show them why, as well. why when we, we arrived and when we left. When we came back, we were supposed to. Definitely, when we came back, we were supposed to. Show we were supposed them. to show that hey, we're back in town. Um, and, but we um, didn't do that, and so months went by. So anything else? No, that's it. Okay, bye.